Hello and welcome back to Harpic and it's been two weeks since I put a video up and England came home and I went out for dinner and paid for it through the nose. I'm lucky I didn't get another loco out of it but mm, it's good to know if I didn't get it. So that is it. We came home. Oh, I've got moose link. There you go. Um, sorry, I won't, I'm not going to show you it on camera just yet. It's there, but I'm not going to show it. I'm going to get the hood for the roof. Uh, I'm going to show it to you later at the end of the video. Um, what am I running at the moment? I'm running two class 47s. My one angular row, um, set. Wish I had overheads and have a class 90. But no, I prefer this. And what am I running over this side? Well, I'm running a Q1, a J94, and a little diesel. That little diesel's great. If I had to get rid of every train in my layout and just buy them, that would be it for me. I mean, I would, I, if I had to get rid of the layout and have a little, little shelf layout, that would be the only locos I'll have. Maybe a, a milk yard. The Dairy Crest one looks nice and all. And right, let's get back. To, well, I'm showing you a hint of it. No, nope. let's get back to the little question I have. And I'm running on this side. I'm running the Star Class and the J15. And I've now put a sound chip in the J15, a class, a J36 sound chip. I they do sound similar, not that similar, but they sound it. And um, it got me thinking, how many other sound chips are different from different locos? I mean, my star runs a King Class sound chip, and it's near enough the same. I mean, it should be a castle, but you can't. I can't get a castle one anywhere. So bigger cylinder. It might be because it's got bigger cylinders. It might sound different, but I've never heard a Star Class or a King Class run on a on a railway. Heard a hall run. <clears throat> heard a hall run. That's all out of the Great Western I've heard. And mostly all standards I've heard. And I don't think they sound any different. I mean, that's the J15 I just turned on. I mean, what I can't get with this, it's got more fancy horns than anything else. So, I think I can get away with just running the sound chip from that. And that's it. Oh, another thing. Martin at work helped me. We found a couple of off-cut bits of wood at work. Martin's a good old over 60 bloke. He's coming to his retirement. He took a part-time cleaning job. He does my section on a, on a Wednesday, maybe a Saturday. Maybe a day when I'm not here, he actually does my section and he does moan at me a lot more lovely bloke i must admit i have given him a lot more work lately as i've been upstairs more and i don't like being upstairs at work i hate it i'd rather be on the shop floor helping out on the shop floor doing heavy lifting stacking shelves i hate paperwork I did try and get mine to do the paperwork <laughs> for a hot farm for an ex-farm hand works for bcg as a mechanic, he hates paperwork more than I hate it. But he's a great bloke to work with. So he helped me find some off-cut wood. He said, there's a little board upstairs. Have you thought about taking it? So I said, well, I have thought about taking it. What would I use it for? He said, use it for your model railway. You just put a new shelf out. 
without anyone's help. Yeah, he actually was shocked when I'd done that shop myself. <laughs> Normally I'd tear about woodwork. So, oh, let's put that back on the road. We always like to see a police car fail. So I've managed to put a couple of legs on it. Near enough the same height. And it goes just there for a little diorama. You can have it as a little diorama on its own or have it somewhere else. So that's why I've been added on to hard pick. So lovely wheels kits. They do not go together properly, do they? I mean, they leave a little gap. So I found a bit of tin foil and stuck it on the roof. That's coming out all right, actually, the tin foil on the roof. Paint's coming out all right. Olive drab, Japanese army olive drab on the doors. I still got a stick them on it, but we'll do later. And I've been building that. I still don't know what to do with this bit. I've ordered a, a house to go there, but I don't know if that's going to come today or next week. I have had an email from Hornby saying something else is coming back. Oh yes, and my class 31, I don't, I don't, I ran it, what was it, I ran it two, a week ago, ran the layout, and it finally died. I changed the chips twice, went back to DC to see if it runs, still died. I think there was something wrong with the PCB board. Got in touch with Hornby Maintenance Department, and it was still under warranty, so they had a look at it. I don't know if I'm getting it back today. Or next week because the emails were confusing when i bought one thing at the same time that's coming back so there could be a house going on here or a lorry yard george records i should put sid's calf mark two move that and put it there i think george might be right could turn it into a lorry yard no i didn't i was thinking about it and i thought perhaps the house would be better Got enough Sid Cat. We've got enough. We got. We don't need any more Sid's calf, George. Oh, that's a new. Oh, another thing. I've replaced the sign on Sid's calf because George <laughs> came in the shed to pick something up. He never. He never saw an AA Land Rover. <laughs> Love the way he knocked it over. So yeah. So off cut. Cheap wheels kit. For three quid. It's, come, it's really actually gone well. I mean, I think I've, I'm trying not to spend more than a tenner on it. I think I have actually spent more than a tenner. Wood free. Legs might have found, well, that bit of wood I might have found in the garden. Wheels kit was three quid. And I have purchased some more vehicles. Um, Austin Somerset. Yeah, Austin Somerset. Another Austin Cambridge, uh, Austin 7 in there. And an Austin Allegro and an Austin 1300 GT. It's one car my dad always kicked himself for not buying an Austin 1300 GT. He had the, all the 1100s near enough and 1300s from Austin and Morris. Never had a GT. He was going to buy an Austin Allegro until my mum stopped him. What was it my uncle? can't remember um, what he told me. So, that's it. Harpick's little update. I treated my brother to dinner. Put sound in, a, in, two, in, in another loco, but that is a question. Does sound, different sound chips work? I mean... Could you get away with putting a whole sound chip in a 52 or a Grange Ooh. or a county? Someone's got to build a new county. Yep, so bye bye for now.